Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this olive green smoky eye. It's actually an olive green halo smoky eye. My favorite shadow ever to play around with and create looks with is olive green. And I find that sometimes olive greens can either go really well or really bad. Some of them can be kind of patchy and not as true to color. I have experienced that. Or maybe just on my eyes that olive greens don't like to work out sometimes. So when I find a palette that has a really good shade of olive green, I said that so many times already, then I get really excited and I have to create a look with it. So I opened up this palette a few weeks ago and this is the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair palette. I actually showed it to you guys over on my Instagram when I did some unboxing and so many of you said that you wanted to see a tutorial using it and this is what it looks like on the inside. It's so pretty. I love the range of shades and this shadow right here which is that beautiful olive green is the shadow that I was drawn to immediately and I told myself that I have to do a look using this palette so if you guys want to stick around to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Royal Affair eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Palace. I'm first going in with my Sigma E38 diffuse crease brush and running this shadow through my crease going back and forth and then circular motions and this is just going to be our transition shade. I'm now going into Monarch. I picked this shadow up on my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm first tapping this on this outer half of my lid. And then I'm going to start doing little circular motions to start bringing this up through the crease and going all the way into this inner corner and then applying it on this inner corner of my lid. Then going back into that first shadow that I applied through the crease, which is Palace, and applying this at the very high point of this crease, just to make sure that everything is very blended out. To highlight my brow bone, I'm picking up Rain. With my Sigma E38 Exact Blend Brush, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. And this is a matte highlight, so it's going to help clean up everything if we went a little too high with our crease. Now first picking up Palace on my E54 Medium Sweeper Brush, I'm going to first start by applying this on my lower lash line. And picking up Monarch on my E20 short shader brush and start smoking this out. For the center of my lid, I'm picking up Aristocrat. So I picked this shadow up on my finger and now I'm just going to apply this right in the center of my lid. And then when I get towards where the shadows are going to meet, I just tap my finger back and forth just to blend those two shadows together. And now I'm applying the shadow with my finger on my lower lash line. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm using the Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil in Wicked. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and I'm going into these Esquito Lashes in Smoke and Fire. And that's the eye look done. I don't know what it is about olive green shadows, but they make me so happy and feel so at peace. <laughs> They're honestly my favorite shade for eyeshadows. I think it looks so amazing and they make my eyes look super green which is always a goal for me. <laughs> so for my lips I'm going to keep them nice and nude because I want to keep all the attention on this really pretty olive green look. So I'm going to be going into this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Sweet Tooth and these smell so much like cocoa and chocolate. It is insane. Honestly, my mouth just waters every time I smell them. I want to eat the lipstick off my lips every time I wear this lipstick. Just go out and go smell this lipstick. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Let me know what you guys think because I think it smells incredible. <laughs> so now I'm just going to apply this. And that is it. This is the completed look of my olive green halo smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed I'm obsessed with the shade of this shadow. I think it looks so pretty and it was so easy to work with. And you can create so many different looks using the shadow. I'm already like kind of thinking of different ways I can incorporate more olive green into my everyday life. So I was thinking maybe you could do a olive green smoky eye. Just pop that all over your eyelid and buff it out with a transition shade that would look amazing. Or this just got me really excited. Do like a black fading into an olive green smoky wing that would look so pretty if you guys actually want to see that let me know I will definitely do that for you guys and also I just want to say that every time I use a BH product like this is the palette that I used today which is their Royal Affair eyeshadow palette every single time I use one of their products it just shocks me at how well their products have emerged and they just became so amazing and their quality is amazing and they have so many different kind of products launching and I love how different their palettes are I actually mentioned this over my Instagram stories that 
I feel like there's so many neutral palettes and so many warm tone palettes and then there's like this palette right here that's so different and it has like a range of cool tones and then warms and shimmers and mattes. I don't know. I just... I get really excited when BH comes out with a new product because they're so inexpensive and their products are actually really good as well. So yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs> so if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box and also a list of all the products that I use today along with brushes will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And also let me know what other kinds of looks you guys want me to film, anything for the holidays, any specific color combinations let me know and if there's any new products out there that you guys want me to use and film a tutorial with definitely let me know that again in the comments below and i think that should be it thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye